Hey, hey, and welcome back to the fourth episode of my Desert Locked Iron Man. Uh, as you may remember on the previous episode, we finally managed to do the the tourist trap and by that way we, we unlocked the agility skill. Uh, we had to get 30 agility at the end of last episode so we could start doing pyramid plunder and uh, Boy was I looking forward to it until I realized how absolutely horrible it is on lower levels. I mean, I just kept on failing and failing and failing and and it was absolutely horrible and I didn't really know at the time like uh, how much food or, or, or water pouches or whatever they are called I had to bring but uh, as you can see, I, I, I just failed. I barely could get off the, the first level and uh, then when I finally got to the second level, of course, I would fail and, and fall all the way back down to the bottom more so. So definitely I was I was not not very happy about it, but uh, but I mean, I, I, I pushed through. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. I, I, I just wanted some gold or coins rather because uh, even with just one time completing I could buy myself a uh, black med helm and the steel kite shield from the vendor in Narda but eventually I got got a couple levels which actually helped me to get my first totem and uh, on the same run I think I got my my first pyramid uh, clearance I guess so I got the first uh, golden pyramid and, and was able to to turn it in so i was really happy about that and uh, i mean at this stage you see my entire inventory is is gone of food like uh, yeah i mean 25 minutes or something to get to the top i think yeah, that's not a uh, great <laughs> gp per hour i can tell you but we managed to do it so i was super thrilled about that so what I, what I did then decided that, okay, I mean, I just, I, I had, I, I only used up two water skins and uh, half an inventory of, of kebabs. So I said, maybe I'll just uh, go restock because there is no way I will get to the top with one, one kebab. So I went and bought my new upgrades and uh, the upgrades are, I mean, they are not good, but these will last for a long time. There is not much I can upgrade it with really yet until I get to kill a Calphite uh, Guardians which can drop uh, like Rune Med and Mithril Kite Shield I think so so this was actually a big upgrade from the, the starter gear that I had. Uh, I also realized that kebabs are very in like unreliable or unreliable excuse me so uh, I just found it and I didn't want to run back up north and buy them all the time. I found it horrible. So I, I decided to do some cooking in between to get some, some more shrimp. Then I went back again to 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 kill it or get some more GP, but I don't I think I might have gotten one here. Uh, one single pyramid. But we got some rubies which was nice and we got a level here. Uh, so at least that's something. I mean it's all it's all part Part of uh, a long journey and here is now my new skill I went back to, to AFK a little bit where I just want to get my stats up further for the feud quest which is the I think that's the next one that we're gonna do or either that or each Larin's little helper uh, either way we need we need better stats for both so so I definitely um, wanted that we got 25 prayer, even though I hope we never die, but then we could potentially protect one item. I guess it doesn't really matter, but let's hope we don't we don't die. Uh, and here, next up is uh, just a, the, um, a small, I guess, combat grind. Just a couple hours when I had to AFK a little bit and, and so on, this was perfect. And uh, we're just working towards uh, better base melee stats here. And uh, we're actually gonna get our, our best in slot ring as well. I don't think I got that, did I, before? I don't think so, but uh, uh, the ring is really useful, so I'm really looking forward to, to getting much better stat, uh, stuff. 
and ring and necklaces and, and whatnot. But we got a genie as well, and uh, uh, this will give us some more hunter XP, which is great. And uh, we're getting a lot of of random events, so so it's it's really good. I mean. It's it's what we need and and these just come with with playing a lot and 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 so on so that is great. We got our first easy uh, desert step, but I don't know if if we don't juggle, I think it's more or less impossible to complete uh, an easy step. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Went back to fishing uh, just a little bit. This is one of the things I do when when I'm playing other games because I don't have to focus at all. So this is like the perfect and it's easy banking. I don't have to drop anything. I don't have to loot anything. So fi th therefore fishing is very good. And we got some really nice fashion scape there. So, so very happy about that. Um, so yeah, we got a second uh, pyramid head and uh, uh, I don't think I managed to, to complete the, the, the pyramid the second time. I think I fell all the way down to the bottom, but but uh, fortunately we get to keep that one, so so that's all cool. Due to, to Agility Pyramid being so horrible and like, uh, I don't know, just I didn't want to run back and forth all the time just for one uh, or for 10k and just go bang, come back, bang, come back and so on. I decided that okay, I'm just gonna level up my my agility just a tad bit. So, so what I then did is like okay, well, I might as well just collect some some marks of grace, even though they're they're completely useless. I did still decided that I'll do I do a little bit every now and then when I when I feel like it between my my combat grind uh, and uh, yeah. I, it really did pay off. I mean, I, I, I did ma did manage to, to get my melee stats up as well as my agility, which... Uh, well, the good thing is, I guess, my, my health goes up, so... so For agility pyramid, I go, I, the initial health is a little bit higher, so, so I can do just a bit more. But also, I, I really want to, to start doing the more difficult quests, so... so. We're actually now that I think of it, we're we actually uh, we're doing great on the the hunter grind. So so definitely can't complain. We're actually getting more than I I remembered of these lamps. Back to agility. I got a uh, couple more levels here, uh, or I think I only got one in this agility session and went back to fishing again. And here I noticed that you can in rune light you can actually change your your view distance even though you can't interact f farther than a certain point but it looks so much better and uh, i'm very happy I, I found those settings and and played around a little bit with them but it, it definitely makes the footage look much better as well uh, i decided to do some some cooking no no real good reason but i i I just pushed through again. Uh, we really need to get uh, our cooking up eventually, anyway, because uh, well, first of all, it's a great because it's very AFKable, but also at some point uh, we need to start killing scarab mages, which actually drop a lot of uh, I think it's raw lobsters and raw bass, which is actually really good food for for the desert because there's not much much else we can get until maybe fishing boss loot we don't really know yet so so but still we definitely need to get up the cooking uh, for that back to agility and this is gonna be the the last few laps of of uh, of the Alcarid uh, rooftop course because uh, we got 43, which definitely, in, in hindsight, I definitely think it was worth it because I was already getting burned out on, on the pyramid and uh, I hadn't basically even started yet. So so here you can see with the 43, we actually managed to, to get a lot of pyramids here. And uh, so if you ever go to, to the pyramid, I suggest get at least 43 plus 
uh, agility and you're gonna notice a huge difference in in uh, in the XP gains as well as uh, money money per hour gains at the the pyramid otherwise i think the pyramid is actually really good i i am definitely getting more fond of it than and uh, the higher level you get the the less you fail so so it's definitely nice background you can see we get a bunch of levels as well and this is actually the last uh, pyramid for now uh, so because i realized that i now have enough uh, coins to to buy myself the rune items and these are these are gonna stay with us for a long time the next upgrade is a dragon chain body and for the legs i don't even think we can get any upgrades so that might be our best in slot for melee forever so yeah we managed to buy both and uh, for some reasons all worlds are overstocked i guess they have a pretty good sell price uh, so people just sell them there, but I also bought bought uh, green dehyde chaps and vambraces even though I don't have the level yet to use it It's still good to have so I don't have to return here for a long time That's uh, gonna be that for this episode uh, I think next episode is gonna be off just uh, grinding some melee stats with our new gear and total bank value at the moment is like one and a half million so anyway Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, anything, I appreciate it. Thank you, bye bye.